To do an O-line shift, you need to know three things. You need to know the O-line controls, the ability to read the plays, and pocket presence. These steps do not work outside of one another, so you gotta make sure you combine them. Now there are two ways to do the O-line shift. You hit R3, a menu will pop up, you hold L1, and you move your left stick or your right stick in the direction of the desired action. Next way, you skip R3 because you already know that L1 is your line shift button, and you move the left stick or the right stick in the direction of the desired action. Next, you need to be able to read the play. You need to be able to see where potential blitzes are coming from. Do not, I repeat, do not shift just to shift. You will confuse your lineman and get sacked quicker because of the protection. The protection is tied to the play you're trying to run. Line shifts are supplemental adjustments, not a necessity per se, because you can switch the play that you, you're running. You can do a check down or just call a timeout if you don't like what you see. Pocket presence. You have to know how to maneuver the pocket to buy time. A rule I use is look down the field, look at the pocket, look at the field again until the pass or the play is completed. Thank you so much for staying to watch the entire video. As a token of my appreciation for everyone that stayed, I have a bonus tip, timing. Remember, you only have a limited time to process. So before any shifts, check the time, check the scene, check the speed of your adjustments. And with this, you should be able to avoid getting sacked as frequently as possible. I hope you guys find this video helpful. I love you guys. The Adulis is out.